how. Um, in addition to this puzzle, I prepared one more really fun activity for us to do. It's similar to the activity that Diego gave at the closing DEF CON speech. So I hope that Diego will be really excited here. I, I learned from the best. We really just play off of each other pretty well. So um, we're going to play a little game where people, where I'm going to give you 10 questions and you need to guess the correct answer to them. And to help facilitate with this tool, we're gonna to use something that my mom uses for her elementary school classes pretty frequently. It's something called Kahoot. <laughs> so it's really easy to sign up and join. I'm going to give you a link. You just click on it in your, you know, on your phone or on your browser. You type in a code, you get added to the game, and then I'll show questions and I'll share my screen again. I'll share the questions as they come in. You need to answer the correct answer and you get points for answering correctly. You lose your winning streak where you get bonus points if you answer incorrectly. So we're gonna have a nice little fun game. Um, you know, core team members can participate, but they aren't entitled to any bragging rights because they should know all the answers already, um, but they're welcome to. <laughs> so I'm gonna start sharing uh, that information with you all. And I hope that this will be a nice little fun activity for us to, uh, to do. So first, let me, I'm, I'm almost there, almost there. Let's play this game. And I'm, again, I'm gonna share a, a link with you all. Um, I'm almost there, podium, cool. Um, sweet, game pen, classic, player versus player. Okay, it's almost ready. So you need to go to Ka this, this website. It will prompt you uh, for a code. And you need to type in the pin six, se uh, so, sorry, seven, six, 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 nine, zero. So I'm gonna post this. I'm gonna start sharing my screen here. And um, sorry, I need to mute this tab. It's just making some annoying noises. Okay, share my screen again, share. Okay, full screen, here we go. Kahoot, okay, so you need to go to this website. We have Monero entering, we have Rar entering. I wonder who that is. Um, so again, it's just really easy to use. We'll make sure we get a few other people to enter. And um, it's these shouldn't be too hard questions. Some of them are purposely a little tricky, but um, anyone, uh, I think everyone would have a lot of fun doing this. So we'll give it maybe another minute or so before we start. Hopefully we can get more than four players in. We have, you know, more than four people watching right now. So let's get, you know, at least 25 of these people in. Um, I mean, ideally. Okay, we got some cool people in here. <laughs> we see moldy rats. I know who that is, but I'm not going to mention it, uh, all, you know, in front of everyone here. It just means someone I know isn't uh, spending their time studying on a Thursday night. Um, <laughs> all right. Anyone else who would like to join? Uh, we're at can six. Okay. So you can go to kahoot.it. Yeah, um, and then it should literally just prompt you for the six digit code, which you type in and, um, and then, uh, it should be, should work. You shouldn't not need any special browser or app or anything. Okay. We're getting more people, nine people. We got some heavyweights in here though. Okay, sweet. Okay, I'm glad it's working for people. This is good news. It's not a complete crash and burn. So that's nice so far at least. We still have some time to go before it will be. Don't you all feel like you're in elementary school again? <laughs> okay, I'll give it another 30 seconds here and then we'll get started. It's supposed to be a nice fun game. Again, you get points for answering things correctly. If you answer multiple things correct in a row, you'll get uh, additional points. Um, furthermore, you get extra points for answering quickly. So if you know the answer, you should answer as quickly as possible because you'll get more points if you answer right away than if you'll wait to the very end. So just keep that in mind. There's certainly an element here where you're encouraged to answer as, as quickly as you can, um, assuming you know the right answer. All right, just another 10 seconds here. Nine, eight, seven, 
six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, I'm gonna get started. There's 11 you, oh, sorry, 11 of you. Enjoy, here we go. Let's see how smart the Monero community is. Okay, I set this to low latency mode on purpose. So what was Monero's original name? And now you need to select the correct answer. You should have only four options. It's just a bunch of shapes. Yep, you need to, so you need to look on the screen to see what they correlate to. Ten seconds. Uh, we need you. We need you to talk because it's not <laughs> it's big on the screen. Oh, sorry. Okay, so this one. So I'll I'll, I'll name the other next time. Okay, so most of you got the Monero's original name was Bit Monero. Uh, the other options were Monero Original, which two people said. There was Bitcoin, which no one said, luckily. And there's Monero Coin, which one person stated. So if you got it wrong, and especially if you couldn't read it, I apologize. I'll read the next one out loud, uh, out loud, out loud more. Um, but the correct answer is Bit Monero, as uh, Ricardo uh, Fluffy Pony stated when he was speaking. Monero was originally called Bit Monero for the first week or so when it was shortened to simply Monero, um, which they felt was a much better name. So um, let's click next and see what the leaderboard is. Okay, so, so you can see here that there is a difference based off who voted or who answered first. So we have in first place Kimura followed by C and then XE, then Binary Fate, then Need Money 90. So in addition, you can't just get it right to win. You also need to answer quickly. So be Lame. ready. <laughs> yeah, Diego probably thinks the game's rigged because it's not straight on here. Um, and keep in mind, while the voting is occurring, if you're in the chat, don't speak because it will make it so that no one else can see what the answers are. <laughs> All right, so Called next. strategy, Justin. Yeah, no cheating, Need Money 90. Okay, <laughs> here we go. Next question. Who is the founder of Monero? Is it thankful for today? Is it Ricardo Fluffy Pony Spogny? Is it David Vladipi? Or is it the Zcash Foundation? You have another 20 seconds. Ooh, 10 people in so far, 11 people in. Okay. So the correct answer, for answer is thankful for today. I think most of us are thankful for today because it is Monero's birthday, of course. Um, nine of you got it right. Two of you said David Latipe. So David Latipe is uh, the late um, member of the Monero core team. Um, unfortunately, he, he passed away several years ago in Monero's early history, but he was one of the original advocates who were going out speaking in conferences and so forth about Monero's technology. So he was critically important to the um, origin of Monero. I believe, Diego, you can correct me if I'm wrong, uh, David Latipe is one of the people who advocated strongly for, um, was it both Zero MQ and also the Monero contributor um, conduct where they, they merge things um, very aggressively as long as it doesn't, uh, doesn't conflict with other parts of the code. Is that correct? I don't know. <laughs> okay, Binary Fate, do you remember? I'm sorry to put you on the spot. So for thankful for uh, David Latipe, um, can you speak very briefly about their contributions? Okay, that's a question mark, okay. <laughs> um, so he was a previous Monero core team member. We can keep proceeding, let's see the standings. I know you're all waiting for those. Okay, still in first place by a margin of just over 20 points is Kimura. Then Binary Fate swept his way up to second place there. Rirar got on the leaderboards. He is on number five right now. And we still have Sia and Need Money 90 doing pretty well too. So a lot of fun stuff going on here. Let's have our next question. When did Monero have a rich list? Number one, before ring signatures were mandatory, two, before stealth addresses were mandatory, three, before ring CT, or four, Monero has never had a rich list. 
There's about 15 seconds left. Keep in mind, there's about a three to five second delay on this, unfortunately. Okay. All except one of you get the correct answer that Monero has never had a rich list. Um, one of you said that before stealth addresses were mandatory. Uh, stealth addresses have always been mandatory for Monero. So as a result, there, would, there never would have been a way for you to send a transaction with revealing what your actual address is. So um, pretty interesting here. Um, a lot of you got it right. Let's see what the new standings are. Binary fates, boom, answering quickly, making his way up the leaderboard, then need money 90, then Kimura, C, and Rivrar. Wonder if any of them will be displaced here. Let's see what happens next. When did the Monero Community Workgroup host its first coffee chat? January 2016, January 2017, October 2017, or January 2018? 20 seconds left. Most of the answers in. Let's see. Let's see if people remember this one. I guess this one. Okay, it clearly showed. This might have some change up in the scores. Nope. There's certainly a split distribution here. The first Monero coffee chat was actually in October 2017. Um, it was not in January. We started in a, a weird month, but it was the point where Diego and I were like, you know what? We need to have more people talking to each other where they can, you know, real time interact and, and answer questions and so forth. And we decided that would happen around October. So that was when we had the first one. Uh, did you need to say something, Diego? I've been to so many of those accursed things. <laughs> Yeah, um, <laughs> there's a lot of these things. I would, I'd like to point out that a lot of things went wrong in the first one. We tried to live stream it and then that didn't work to YouTube. So everyone just joined a Jitsi link instead. And then we later, I literally screen captured it with OBS and then later uploaded it to YouTube. So if you want to watch a really bad episode of the coffee chat, at least in terms of production quality is concerned, watch the October 2017 one. Uh, we've only gotten slightly better since. All right, let's see if this change of leaderboards at all. Ooh, he's on fire. Rirar with 36, 30 points. Then there's Binary Fate, Need Money 90, uh. Kabura, and making their way on their leaderboard for the first time is Monero. So, Rirar, you've gotten four correct in a row. You are perfect so far. Let's see if you can keep that up. All right, next question. What was the name of Monero's first proof of work mining algorithm? Number one, SHA-256, two, Cryptonite, three, CryptoNote, or four, Cuckoo Cycle. Another 15 seconds. Most people have answered here. Two, one. All right. A lot of people got that one wrong there. This is the Monero's first mining algorithm. So many people, at least most people, yeah, most people said CryptoNote. CryptoNote is the protocol uh, that Monero is based off of, but the proof of work algorithm was called CryptoNite. So um, keep that in mind. Even though they're similar names, CryptoNote generally refers to, you know, Monero's ring signatures, et cetera, et cetera. But CryptoNite is the best answer there because that's the name of the specific proof of work mining algorithm. Um, so let's see what happened in the standings here. Rarar, still 4,900 points. And it looks like it hasn't really changed that much since last time. We still have Rarar, Binary Fate, Need Money 90, Kimura, and Monero on that leaderboard. But Rarar is just destroying everybody. Let's see if he's going to get the next one wrong. I'm going to run over. I'm going to take a flight to wherever Diego lives, and I'm going to click the wrong answer on purpose. We'll Justin shared all the questions with me before this. <laughs> I can assure you I didn't, but uh, it would what apparently is. seem that way. <laughs> all right. What's the next question? Which is not the name of a current or previous written publication that shared weekly news? Monero Hard Fork, 
Revro Monero, Monero Monitor, or the Monero Moon? Which is it? Okay, we have about another 10 seconds left. Okay, okay most of anybody has uh, finished the crossword puzzle. Yeah, we, we can we can check on that word. I mean, this is only 10 questions long. We're almost we're mostly through it now. So um, I would I'd love to know if people have completed the crossword puzzle for sure. Uh, most people got the correct answer there, the Monero hard fork. Uh, Diego was working on the Revoir Monero, which we mentioned immediately before this. Uh, there's also a Monero monitor, which was out for some period of time for a few weeks. Uh, that's actually the earliest of any of these publications. And then um, it, was a, it was unfortunately canceled, as was Monero Moon, which is more recent, but it also was, uh, was canceled due to the person who wrote it, writing it, having uh, limited access to time. Um, but it was a Monero form funding system proposal that actually helped support it over the time. Uh, now we just pawn everything off onto Diego. Okay, so uh, standings haven't really changed there, I think. It may be some small change, some change between C and Kimura, um, let's see what happens in the next round here. And I passed binary fate, but that's not important. Oh yeah, well, I mean, yeah. Good job, Mean Money 90, good job. All right, which of the following has never been a Monero minimum ring size? One, two, three, or five? Oh shoot, I, I think I missed. I feel like this is one of those you know it or you don't type questions. Yeah, no, I, I, I messed up. <laughs> yeah. that, that think was not a think. I, I clicked like, way too quick and then realized immediately afterwards what I'd done. So this has... <laughs> okay, we might have some upset people as a result of the answers to this one. So I argue that Monero has never had a minimum ring size of two, okay? Most people said one. Um, I would say that in Monero... What were you saying? We called the mix-ins back then, didn't we? Yeah, we called it the mix-ins back then. So to those... Mix-in um, is the equivalent of ring size minus one. So a, a ring size of one would be a zero mix-in transaction. So um, there certainly were those in you know Monero's old history, and um, it, it had some previous privacy consequences that Monero needed to grow for. Um, the original Monero research lab papers, uh, MRL1 and MRL4, advocated for ring sizes to be set to three as a minimum, and then eventually five as a minimum. Uh, two was not recommended as a minimum because it does not provide good um, protection against chain reaction attacks. Basically, if, if one member of the rings was compromised, then the other ring member would then therefore become another zero, uh, another zero mix in transaction effectively. And as a result, it would just cascade. So you need at least a minimum ring size of three to prevent these sort of cascading chain reactions. So uh, MRL recommended three and five. Monero moved to those as minimum ring sizes, but um, two was never a Monero minimum ring size according to consensus. So this is going to change things up a bit, I imagine. <laughs> Diego is just... <laughs> Diego is the expert here. I think uh, you guys are a bunch of scrubs. I'll be honest. <laughs> Diego's killing it. Um, Need Money Ninety is still in front of Binary Fate. I think nothing else changed because Diego is seemingly is the only person that got this one right. Um, so, so very, very interesting. I did not expect this one to be so divisive, um, but but very interesting to know for future future quizzes I put together. Quickly. Yeah, sorry, Need Money. <laughs> All right, next question. 8 of 10, with the 0.14.1 update, approximately what proportion of a Monero transaction can be pruned? Is it two-third, one-third, one-tenth, or seven-eighth? This is for a specific transaction. What proportion can be pruned with the upcoming 0.14.1 upgrade? Uh, I'm going to This is one of the trickiest ones, I think, of this uh, 
of this quiz. It depends quiz. on whether it means striping or not. I can't remember whether that's in yet. Okay. Most people got this one correct, which I'm a little surprised. I thought this would be the hardest one, not the previous one. Um, but yes, for a specific Monero transaction, about two thirds of the data is removed for those that are pruned in some sense with the 0.14.1 update. Um, so but that means one third of the data is removed. If, sorry, one third of the data remains approximately. That's the second answer. Um, and then the seven eighth number is of the transactions uh, that are, you know, th that you have and would like to prune, that is the proportion that are pruned. So essentially seven eighth of the transactions are pruned by two thirds is the best way to look at that. So um, it looks like most people still were able to see through that one, which is really good. Of, of course, Diego still saw through it. Um, is there a change in leaderboard? So Binary Fate is 40 points ahead of Need Money 90. So we're getting close tied for second and third. And I think there's still a chance in the last few questions for C, Monero, and others to keep making their way up. Yes, uh, Professor Al Kahoot, we're trying it out. We're seeing how this will happen. Um, we can get some feedback after this if it was a, a good program to use or not. All right, nine of 10, how frequently are the Monero Community Workgroup meetings held? Once per quarter, once per month, every other week, or every week? Okay, most people have answered about, you know, about 10 seconds remain here. Diego, get one wrong just for fun. <laughs> All right. Most people chose the correct answer of every other week. The Monero Community Workgroup meets every other week as far as a meeting is concerned. We also have coffee chats once per month, which means that sometimes it feels like we're meeting every week, or maybe it feels like we're not meeting enough. Depends on your perspective. Oh, man, let's meet um, once a quarter instead. <laughs> I'm sure there are people that, that, despite not voting for once a quarter, would like to meet once a quarter. So um, there's always that. Um, so very interesting. Most people chose the correct answer there. Um, Diego, of course, did. Uh, Binary Fate is still on top of Need Money. I think he actually has a little bit of a gain there. So he must have answered a little bit more quickly. And Monero and C are still battling, um, uh, bat battling and towards the bottom of the, the short ledger uh, leaderboard there. OK, last question, I believe, if I can count properly. Is everyone ready for the very last question about who's the best Monero person? Just kidding. But obviously SGP. <laughs> yeah, I would have gotten all these right. <laughs> all right. Last question. Which of the following Monero wallets shares its view key with a specified server? Is it one, Monaruyo, two, Cake Wallet, three, X Wallet, or four, my Monero? Last question. Okay, everyone answered in time. So uh, the correct answer is my Monero. Most people got that one correct. Uh, Monero, Cake Wallet, and X Wallet, at least currently, all use a remote node system, but they do not share the view key with the uh, the server. The view key is something you can optionally share um, with some services. It allows them to provide services to you in a more efficient way, but you certainly sacrifice some of your privacy in doing so, um, at least if you're trusting someone else to, to review that information for you. All right, let's see the final leaderboard here. Okay, Diego, you destroyed it. Okay, you got 10 out of 10 there. I okay. Mean, <laughs> I need to make the next ones harder because he has 11,845 points. Need Money 90 was able to beat out Binary Fate at the very end there with 8 out of 10 correct with 7,807 points. And then Binary Fate doing well as always with 7 out of 10 correct, 6,701 points. So, there, hopefully that was enjoyable for everyone. These are the overall leaderboards, uh, I guess, top five. Um, thank you everyone for, for played. Um, I, I, I hope this was enjoyable. I guess we can spend the next few minutes debating if this was actually enjoyable for everyone. Please leave a comment in chat if this was, was fun for you, especially if you participated 
or if you thought this was really dumb. In any case, if you think it was dumb, luckily you can still work on the puzzle that uh, Need Money 90 spent a lot of time preparing for you. Um, so I hope that you really enjoy that.